I'm being honest, I'm just happy that Newt and Tina have reunited. Because at the end of the day, what's more important in Fantastic Beasts than the greatest ship of all time? <laughs> we're beautiful. Whatever. My regular Niffler. Hello beautiful people, how's it going? I'm back with another video and this is part two of me talking about Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, not talking, theorizing on the new information that we've received recently. In my last video, I focused on Queenie and Jacob and today we're going to be talking about Newt Scamander and Porpentina Goldstein. And yes, I mentioned Tina's name in full because we haven't gotten a Funko Pop for her yet. As of Crimes of Grindelwald, I mean we got the where to find them pop down there, but I just, I just don't understand why we're focusing so much on beasts in terms of the Funko Pop line. But you know, I'm not upset about it or anything. No, not at all. But yes, in my previous video, I talked about Queenie and Jacob and how she's charmed him, and now she's probably gonna have to join the dark side because everyone hates her now. But what I wanted to really focus on in today's video was Tina's mission in Paris. As of the new article released by Collider, they have given us character descriptions of every single character, including the Maledictus, who they haven't named yet, because we don't all know it's Nagini, but okay. Whatever. And weirdly enough, these articles have revealed a lot new information, and so let's get to unpacking, and let's read together about what Collider has got to say about Tina Goldstein. Leaving New York, Tina has traveled to Paris on a cryptic and wholly unauthorized investigation of her own. Of course she has. She knows Credence has survived Makusa's attempt to destroy him in New York, but she is also aware that, as an obscurial, he is considered a threat to the wizarding community and is in grave danger. Employing all of her skills, Tina is finally closing in on Credence, but her pursuit has also put her on a collision course with other powerful forces hunting him. Wouch. So because of my previous video, we actually know that Newt goes along with Jacob to Paris to actually find Queenie, who has fled because she's, like, done a really, really bad thing. If you haven't seen that video, you can just go on my channel. It is the last video that I uploaded. So that puts Newt in Paris along with Queenie and Jacob. But apparently, what brings Tina to Paris is the fact that she is on the hunt for Credence because she knows that he is very dangerous, which I guess is a really, really good factor. Because if you don't already remember, from the first movie, there was actually a relationship between Credence and Tina before we even met them. She was really, really adamant on saving Credence from his foster mother, and that is really, really great. We actually do know that Credence's aunt will be featured in this film. We also do know that him and Lita may or may not be related. I don't know. But what's really interesting about the statement is the fact that it states that Tina is not the only person hunting Credence down, and I'm pretty sure she's the only one doing it for a good reason. I assume that Grindelwald is also hunting down Credence because he wants to use his power, as he did in the first film, where he was impersonating a man named Percival Graves, who we all miss Oh, so much. Don't get me wrong, I love Johnny Depp, and I know he's gonna be amazing as Grindelwald. I just, I just really do miss Percival Graves. <laughs> I think another person who may be hunting Credence down is Skender, who is this guy who owns the Wizarding Circus. We received information that Credence actually escapes the circus along with the Maledictus to actually find out who his birth mother is, which I guess is a really interesting plotline, but also adds a lot of contributing factors that are very confusing to this film, as if we don't already have a million of those. So obviously, since he's escaped the circus, Skender would be out looking for him. So realistically, it would be three different forces hunting down Credence, and Credence would probably not want to be around any of them because Tina's upset him because she literally let Makuza kill him in the last movie, and Grindelwald has upset him because he was literally manipulating him to find the Obscurial, which actually turned out to be him. And of course, Skender was using him as clickbait for his circus, which is something that I never do, by the way. Never. And if you think that's the only issue going on with Tina and Nude at the moment, no! There's Lita Lestrange. You guys know how excited I am for her character, but the fact that she is actually holding his arm at the book signing for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is just shocking, and I know Tina's not going to be happy with that, because apparently they have been going through miscommunications between the first and the second film. So yeah, that's how my emotional state is going at the moment. Fun game, actually. Count the amount of times I said wouch in this video. That's number seven, I think. And there you have it, guys. That was my video talking about Newt and Tina in Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and a comment down below. And if you haven't already, follow me on social media because the links are down below. And subscribe to my channel to see a lot more Harry Potter content. Bye, guys!